everyone it's Argonath here from the right way and I uh, got some more news about the Virginia elections where um, the Republican Party kind of um, took a sweep in a lot of the positions in those particular elections and it's good for us even in New Zealand to um, learn a little bit about the US politics because we can see it starting to creep more and more into our own politics especially the politics of identity and race and all that sort of stuff is coming in more and more into New Zealand which is detrimental to us but anyway let's um, talk about uh, Winston Sears who um, is Virginia's first black female lieutenant governor so that's pretty amazing story and she does have a really amazing story and it's good to hear about what she went through what she's done for her state and community um, and it's got nothing to do with her actual race so let's have a read so Virginia lieutenant governor elect Winsome Sears reflected on her victory in the race to become the first woman and woman of color to be elected as Virginia's lieutenant governor Wednesday on the story with Martha McCallum saying she was destroying all the narratives about race we're framing too many issues in terms of race and it just continues to divide us and we can see this is happening in New Zealand as well right people going on about systemic racism in New Zealand and all this kind of stuff but they never point to any actual examples of systemic racism in New Zealand uh, sure if there are actual instances of racism occurring then we should all get out and do something about that and I'll be the first to actually stand up um, to do something about that as well but when you just say the whole system is racist um, that has no meaning because what parts of the system the whole system itself uh, what you know what is causing this kind of thing we never hear about that kind of stuff it's just a blanket um, accusation against um, everything uh, and unfortunately politicians are using it as a tool because of the things that have happened to us historically to advance I would think their nefarious purposes and pretty much that's all the people on the left they're all about race and identity um, and in fact what they're doing is they're becoming racist because they're um, dividing people into groups based on their actual race which is the whole um, idea of racism right um, Winston said it's important for people to stop looking at race and instead just look at people yes exactly don't look at the color of someone's skin look at what they've done isn't that what something that uh, Martin Luther King actually kind of said Strea says that she is only a heartbeat away from the governorship and insisting that she is a victim <coughs> due to color of her skin is a non-argument right so you're saying the color of her skin is a non-argument that has not precluded for her from getting to where she is um, and possibly even becoming a governor at some point <coughs> I didn't do anything special to get here except stay in school and study exactly if you know of anyone the best thing you can do is encourage them to stay in school and study as much as they can keep learning through your adult working life the more things that you learn the um, more chances and opportunities you have that is the main thing right people are in poverty because of their education um, a, a lot of that will come down to education if you can get better education you will do better in your life as a Jamaican immigrant and US Marine Corps veteran Sears said she'd been able to take advantage of the vast opportunities available in America when Sears had a will uh, when Sears had a will to attend college as a mother of three children under the age of five so you describe putting one of her kids back on the back of a bicycle just to get to class America allowed me to come and do for myself and for my family no one can say to me I don't know what it's what it is to be poor you are looking at the American dream exactly right the opportunities are there you just got to take them and work hard all of these people on the left all these friggin Democrats and friggin Labour Party people and Greens people they're always saying you're never going to do well because the system is racist and so obviously no one will ever strive to do well if they're always constantly taught that because of the color of the skin you're not going to do well right and they trap these people in poverty because they trap them into staying onto benefits being we being um, provided for by the government and so you're never going to be able to do well just by surviving on what the government pr provides because they can never provide enough because they don't have the money to do that 
um, and so they just trap people in poverty and that's how they keep getting their votes says insisted as a nation we can do better comparing today's current events to when her father came to America during the height of the civil rights movement in 1963 we're always going to have problems I understand that I'm not saying we're perfect and it's the same thing in New Zealand nobody's perfect and we can always do better but I think that we're actually um, doing pretty well in New Zealand and also in America but you can see that those people at the border right now are trying to get in they're dying to get in because they know if they can put a foot on American soil the trajectory of their lives will change just as it did for my father so these are not all white people that are at the border struggling to come into America these are all um, from Mexican or Latino descent why are they coming to America if America is such a racist country that oppresses all of the people that are non-white why they were all wanting to come into America because they know it's not racist it's not systemic racism they know that they can get to America and uh, work hard they can do well for themselves as well um, so let's have a little bit of a background on Winsome Sears um, she's an American politician and businesswoman uh, she's a member of the Republican Party um, she where is it? She won the race for Lieutenant Governor Pam, the first woman and first person of Jamaican origin to be elected statewide. Sears was born in Kingston, Jamaica and immigrated to the United States at the age of six. Her father arrived with just $1.75 and took any job he could find while also continuing his education. So that's a pretty awesome story there as well, right? Come to America, work hard, educate yourself and you too can do really well same thing in New Zealand she grew up in the Bronx New York City she served as an electrician in the United States Marines it's pretty awesome um, serving her country she has earned an AA from Tidewater Community College and a BA in English with a minor in economics from Old Dominion University and an MA in organizational leadership from Regent University in Virginia Beach California right so she, her, basically her family had nothing a dollar 75 is all her father had when he came to America she had nothing she doesn't fit the narrative of the left right so that's why they're denigrating her so now people are going that she's the black face of white supremacy what an awful thing to say about someone right these leftist people are totally racist they are the racist most racist people on the earth calling a black Jamaican person the black face of um, white supremacy is absolutely appalling and they also said it about another person who um, who went against Gavin Newsom for the um, to be the governor of um, California uh, unfortunately I just can't remember his, remember his name but that's another thing they're saying so basically we're all so the, all of the leftists were all for black lives black lives matter except when they go against the narrative and then they're called the black face of white supremacy don't fall for it all these Democrats the people on the left in America and New Zealand they are all racist they're completely racist right um, so don't fall for it you know let me know what you think about the um, the life story of uh, Winsome Sears pretty amazing story shows that anyone can work hard get educated and can do really really well for themselves so awesome for her and I'm really happy that she was elected let me know what you think in the comment section if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you don't don't like the video you're welcome to give it a thumbs down and uh, if you like my content please subscribe as it just helps the YouTube algorithm to notice my content and hopefully I will see you in the next video